Your New Year's plan is to eat, drink, and be merry. Get sidelined with some heartburn symptoms. Surgeons at the UC Cancer Institute are now among the first in the region to use a breakthrough device that might help you find some relief. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains how it works in today's Medical Edge. Many of us love pizza and spicy foods, but not everyone can enjoy these foods without serious symptoms such as heartburn, coughing, or even chest pain that follow afterward. When that happens on a regular basis, Dr. Valerie Williams is a thoracic surgeon who says that is commonly referred to as what's called GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disorder. Initially, it is treated with medication, but for those who no longer find those to work, there is now the new Lynx system. As this graphic, courtesy of Links for Life, shows, it's a tiny ring of magnets placed around the lower end of the esophagus. The esophagus normally has a valve at the bottom of it that separates the esophagus from the stomach, and that's to prevent uh, reflux of acid and food back up into the esophagus. And uh, when that valve weakens or shortens, you get reflux. The ring is placed around the esophagus through tiny incisions in the abdomen. So at rest, it's closed. And when you swallow, it, the magnets or the beads separate to allow the food and the fluid to pass through. Now, a couple important things to know about this. You do need to be an appropriate candidate for this device. And those who are severely obese, it is not recommended. You also may need prior authorization for insurance coverage of the device and the procedure. But in those who have it and are good candidates for it, a recent study in the New England Journal of Medicine found 9 out of 10 patients said it helped reduce symptoms, helped reduce the need for medications, and they were satisfied with the results. The Lynx is intended to stay in the esophageal area for life, although should complications arise? It's a permanent device, but it is removable and reversible. The goal is to reduce the aftermath of serious GERD symptoms and reduce complications which may follow a diagnosis of this disease. At the UC Cancer Institute, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And we have a link for more information on our website about links. Just go to our website, local12.com, and click on the red Get It button. Erica joins us now with another look at the